Hello everyone, this is Rabab Alma, licensed marriage and family therapist and international life coach. Uh, I want to talk to you about relationships and uh, I see clients whether online and or in the office and uh, I think it's important for us to look at our relationships and see where are the um, the gaps are coming from why are we having this um, communication issues and I think a lot of times coming to a therapist uh, and a counselor helps in um, and the way we look at ourselves within the um, situation and the way we look at our partner or our loved ones um, sometimes we bring our own anxiety our own triggers into the issue that we are discussing and sometimes sometimes they are doing the same thing and, um, and sometimes we overreact or we assume uh, certain feelings or certain uh, uh, behaviors or thoughts or we assume that they are thinking this way or that way and then we might behave in a way that can maybe escalate and exacerbate the issue where it can be contained if we think about it differently. So um, I think when it comes to uh, mental health, we need to look at it from an individualistic perspective. So what's happening within us? What's happening to the person we are communicating with? And what's happening uh, between the two of us? And, uh, and try to um, work on it in early stages. A lot of times people come to therapy after a long time of struggle. Sometimes people come after 20 years, 18 years, 30 years of, a, of accumulation of issues and relationships. And now you have like to peel and unpack all of this accumulation. And sometimes people have different accounts to different events. But we do not usually forget how someone or something made us feel. And that, whether it's good or bad, positive or negative, and that stays with us. And it's extremely important for us to process that and, excuse me, bring it out in the open and really talk about how we feel. And sometimes, we don't have to say everything and talk about everything we talk, we feel or, or think about with that particular person. Sometimes it's better not to. And, some, and it's, it, relationships is about dealing with the relationship in a strategic way. Look at the difference in gender, culture, age, background, upbringing, um, situation or the, 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 the temporary situation that the person is going through. All of this affects the way we communicate. And believe it or not, we need to be strategic. Uh, we need to choose the timing, the wording. Or, um, sometimes it's better to take that issue and discuss it with a therapist, and especially if something related to you. And maybe to learn how to regulate your emotions before really uh, exploding or really um, being passive aggressive or because or maybe oversensitive or whatever the situation is or maybe overreaction uh, about a certain and particular situation and that goes with our self-awareness our self-discipline and how we really look at things and how we control or really um, manage our feelings it's important for us to understand that feelings uh, are temporary they come and go so when we want to make a decision or when we want to really communicate someone something with someone specifically someone we love we don't want to communicate or make decisions based on this um, charged emotions that we are feeling at the moment. We need to really deal with these emotions and see where they are coming from and uh, manage them before we make decisions or we communicate them raw emotions with someone or raw feelings with someone and we might say or do something uh, that we regret later on. So 
relationships, whether it's parenting, whether it's couple and marriage, or or uh, what, or even friendships. It's about first, how, what do you do with your emotions? What do you do with your feelings? How do you manage them? And how how do you communicate with the person you care about in a way that's effective for both of you and effective for the relationship? If you would like to communicate with me, I'm available on. Um, uh, social media, uh, Facebook, Rabab Alma Counseling Services, uh, and on Instagram, and you can go to my website, rabbalma.com. I am licensed in Pennsylvania, and I am also recently licensed in New Jersey. So I can see, um, for therapy, I can see people in Pennsylvania and in New Jersey, and I'm always also an international life coach. So um, you can call me, contact me, email me, I'll be happy to address your concerns or your questions. Uh, you can also suggest some uh, topics for uh, these lives or these videos and I will be happy to address them for you. I wish you a wonderful rest of Sunday and until next time, uh, stay um, safe, at peace and joyful. Thank you and have a good day.